you know, back in the day, General Hospital was hiring a whole bunch of young and exciting actors and actresses. But did you know a former Playgirl model showed up on General Hospital and uh, he shook it up quite a bit. Very popular actor, Steve Bond, probably one of the most handsome actors in soap opera history. Born Shlomo uh, Goldberg, April 22nd, 1953 in Haifa, Israel. Uh, spent most his career as an actor and model. Now, Shlomo was born in Haifa, Israel, to a Romanian-born mother and a Hungarian-born father who immigrated to Israel. He married in 1982 to his wife, Cindy, and had a daughter, Ashley Bond, now uh, an American Israeli Olympic show jumping writer who competes uh, successfully for Israel. Now, he was a child actor who starred in Tarzan and the Jungle Boy, a 68 release. In 75, Bond appeared nude, nude for a photo spread published in the October issue of Playgirl. He moved to the U.S. in the early 1980s and became a daytime television actor on GH, playing Jimmy Lee Holt from 83 to 87. In 84, Bond posed bare-chested for a pinup wall poster, and in the early 1980s, he also worked as a male stripper for Chippendales and appeared on one of their calendars. As a Chippendale dancer, he appeared on a 1982 show, The Shape of Things. His early film credits included roles in Massacre at Central High, Hots, Gas Pump Girls, Witches Brew, and The Prey. 1988 marked a year of Bond's breakthrough again leading role as Travis Albaline in Picasso Trigger. In 89, he joined the cast of daytime drama Santa Barbara as Mac Blake, where he stayed for one year. Later, he starred as a seductive evil vampire in the movies for Die For and Son of Dark- Darkness uh, to, uh, uh, to Die For uh, 2. Now, Jimmy Lee Holt was a very interesting uh, character. Uh, he was uh, part of like what he called the second phase of the reboot of uh, General Hospital and probably considered one of the most handsome actors on the show. Now, Jimmy Lee Holt was involved in a whole bunch of storylines that were, were, quite, were quite interesting. Now, uh, the, the idea of a Jimmy Lee Holt, again, he was part of the Quartermain's, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, extended family directly and indirectly. Now, again, uh, Jimmy Lee, who met with Quartermain, believed to have been in Europe and boarding school, was raised by distant uh, relatives of his mother, Beatrice, and showed up in Port Charles on January 83, just as the Quartermain family was facing the crisis of Lila Quartermain's first husband, Crane Tolliver, giving Susan more papers which proved his marriage had never been legally ended. Jimmy Lee ended up with the papers when Crane was killed after murdering Susan Moore and used this as leverage over his father. Not willing to shed his blue-collar career for an executive one at ELQ, Jimmy Lee worked at various construction jobs, but fell in love with his distant cousin, Celia, who was engaged in a handsome but stuffy Dr. Grant Putnam. Was he Grant Putnam or somebody else? Uh, Celia secretly fell in love with Jimmy Lee, too, but only after sharing kisses with him, he kidnapped her and held her overnight before she was at the Mary Grant. She showed up to the wedding after hitching a ride on a chicken truck, and Jimmy Lee moved on by briefly dating both Heather Weber and Shirley Pickett. After an affair with Lorena Sharp, Monica Quartermain's cousin, he continued to remain a thorn in Grant and Celia's side, and in 84, when his mother Beatrice showed up in town, continued to use the Tolliver divorce papers against Edward. Beatrice was accidentally killed by mistakenly drinking Lila's heart medicine, and this left Jimmy Lee better towards the Quartermains, whom he felt had treated uh, her badly. After Grant and Celia's marriage fell apart, Jimmy Lee married her, but old enemies of his made it appear soon afterwards he cheated on her, and she left town, not accepting his explanation. After his half-brother Alan came back from the dead, Jimmy Lee met and fell in love with Charity Gatlin, the woman who had taken Alan in. Jimmy Lee and Char- Charity married and left Port Charles. Over the years, Jimmy would infrequently be mentioned, most notably when Edward used his illegitimate son's name as an alias, but hiding from his enemies. In 2021, Jimmy, Jimmy and Charity's son, Austin, shows up in Port Charles and re- reveals Jimmy died six months before. So, uh, again, Steve Bond, one of the most handsome actors, not the greatest actor in the world, but eye candy. And, again, boys, those back his- Issues of Playgirl became very collectible back in the day. Now, I've seen these dude photos, and all I can say he was a better model than an actor. I'm not gay, but he was a handsome man. I could give him his work. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's our latest General Hospital podcast. If you like uh, what we're doing here, please let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.